Hello, good evening mga ka UG. It's Saturday again, 7.30pm. Nandito naman tayo for another word from home. Amen. Uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes ng ating uh, time upang tayo ay magka, mag, makaka, makapakinig. Okay, so it, it will help us in our relationship with God. Let us discover Jesus. Let us discover Jesus because the more we try to discover Jesus, the more na we will know what He has done for us, our identity that includes in, in Him. Lahat yan maikita natin. The more we discover Jesus, the more we will know about ourselves. Napakagandang bagay na pwede nating makita that we can know ourselves by knowing Jesus because we are the finished work. Ito yung ginawa, ni, ito yung ginawa ng Diyos, ginawa na, ng Lord Jesus para sa atin on that cross of Calvary. And now, lahat ng benefits ng ginawa niya, we receive it. Amen? We are the righteousness of God. We are holy because of God, because of what Jesus has done. Amen? We are blessed because of all of those things na ginawa niya para sa atin. Amen? So before we continue, I want to share something to you. And before that pala, let I want to invite you sa ating connect group. It's 9 to 10 p.m. only every Thursday. Okay? every Thursday. You can PM me. You can PM some of yung ating mga, kung kilala nyo pa ating mga youth leaders dyan and dyan, you can PM them so you can join us. Uh, pwede namin isend yung link sa inyo or probably send the link doon sa ating uh, Facebook page ng Unified Generation so you can join us. One hour lang to ng ating pagbubulay-bulay and that, you know, discovering Jesus, inspiring each and everyone sa mga story na maikita natin sa salita ng Diyos, sa mga story, sa characters ng Lord Jesus. Yun ang magandang uh, ginagawa namin sa aming connect group. So let us inspire and discover each and everyone through the word through our Lord Jesus. Amen. Through the help of the Holy Spirit. So let's continue. I'm going to call this message as uh, limitations. I'm going to call this for tonight. It's called limitations. Okay. So there would be point in our times na we have done everything. Nagawa na natin ang lahat. Maybe pursuing something. Maybe doing something. Maybe sa trabaho. Maybe sa school. Maybe our dreams. Uh, we have done it already. But yet, ang inilalabas nitong, ang outcome nito is still the same. We are still getting the same outcomes dun sa ating ginawa. Even though we have already, we've already done everything that we could do for that something I don't know whatever it is okay whatever it is in your heart or in your mind or you're pursuing right now but I want you to see this there would be certain time us people will reach that limit okay but I want to tell you two things lang dalawang bagay two stories lang sa Bible where you can see how God moves how first of all yung isang story na ating tatamaan sa John is with the Lord Jesus and now the Lord Jesus as His grace Himself ay maikita sa isang story rin sa Bible where you can see na even though ang tao ay nandun na sa point of limit nila sa kanilang limitations God can still do something about it so they can reach yung kanilang uh, pag-exceed nila doon sa kanilang mga limitations by the help of the grace of God. Amen. So let's up, let's open up our Bibles in John chapter 6. Let me read this first too. Sabrito, after Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, a large crowd was following him because they had seen the signs. Ah, uh, kakaperform lang ng Jesus, ni ng Lord Jesus ng kanyang mga miracles. And then it says here, because they had seen the signs which he continually performed on those who were sick. 3 and Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down where there with his disciples for now the Passover, the feast of the Jews were approaching five Jews. Jesus looked up and saw a large crowd was coming toward him and he said to Philip, I want you to take note of this, and he said to Philip, where will we buy bread for these people to eat? Because of the miracles o yung mga ginagawa ng Lord Jesus, mga bagay na kanyang pineperform, ang mga tao ay nag-start ng sumunod sa kanya wherever he goes. Okay? Now, when Jesus saw sa time ng Passover, dahil malapit na, when Jesus was walking towards the mountainside and sat there, nakita niya na, ito na, paparating na yung mga tao. So, he was questioning Philip. Sabi niya kay Philip, where will we buy the bread for these people to eat? Sabi niya, saan natin bibilin? Saan tayo makakuha? Saan tayo makakabibilin? 
bibili ng, ng tinapay para dito sa mga taong sumusunod sa atin. This multitudes of people. Six, but he said to test this, to test Philip. Okay? Sinabi niya ito, to test Philip. Okay? Because he knew, I want you to see this, because he knew what he was about to do. He was already asking Philip of where to buy, saan tayo bibili ng tinapay. But with that same question, Jesus already has the answer. I want you to see that. He was asking a question to Philip because probably he was waiting dun sa response ni, ni Philip. Probably teaching accountability. Probably teaching something to Philip and the other disciples on what to do. Especially when people are, you know, following them. Being accountable to them. But that's another story. So, may kita natin dito. Sabi ng Lord Jesus, Where will we buy the bread for these people to eat? Dahil nga, sinusunda na sila. So, sabi dito sa 6, But he said this to, to test Philip. Because he knew what he was about to do. Alam na ng Lord Jesus kung anong kanyang gagawin. Now, I want you to see this. So 7, Philip answered. Sumagot si Philip. 200 denarii, 200 days wages worth of bread is not enough for each one to receive even a little. Sabi niya, it's not enough. And one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, said to him Psalm 9, There is a little boy who has five barley loaves and two fish. Now, let's go back. Sabi niya sa 8, Sabi niya sa 7, 200 denari, 200 days wages. Sabi niya, pang dalawang, pang 200 days na trabaho. Worth of bread, sabi niya, hindi pa rin enough. Sabi niya. So, he was saying na kahit pagtrabahuan natin to ng 200 days, it will never be enough. Yun ang sagot ni Philip sa kanya nung Jesus asked him. Sabi niya, saan tayo bibili? But sabi doon, Jesus already knew what he was about to do. But with the same question na tinanong niya kay Philip, Philip answered, sabi niya, Lord, even 200 days of work, sabi niya, this will not be enough to feed all of these people. Sabi niya, hindi natin to kakayanin. Hindi natin to kakayanin. Hindi natin kayang pakainin ang mga taong ito. It will not be enough. And then, after that answer, sumagot naman yung ibang disciple. Sabi niya, hey, there's a little boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are these for so many people? See? They already saw, saw something. May nakita na kagad sa kanila. Lord, sabi niya, isang bata rito, may dala siya. Ang kanyang dala ay five barley loaves and two fish. Sabi niya, dalawang, dalawang isda at limang barley loaves. Sabi niya, ganun. But what are these for so many people? Sabi niya, eh, paano naman to para sa lahat? Ano ba ito? Para sa pang liman libong katao. So in their eyes, they were seeing the impossible. Sabi ni Philip, Lord, hindi natin to kaya. Even magtrabaho tayo ng 200 days, it will not be enough. It will not suffice. It will not be sufficient for these people. And then sabi ni sabi ng ibang disciples, meron naman dito ng available, but kakaunti lang din. Ito lang ang meron tayo. I want you to see this. Sabi ng Lord Jesus in 10, Jesus said, Have the people sit down to eat. Okay? Oh, no, no, no. Let's go back. Sabi niya sa, sabi niya sa, sa 9, There is a little boy here. And then 10, Jesus said, Yes, have the people sit down to eat. Now, there was an abundance of grass, so the men sat down, about 5,000 in number. And then what Jesus did, kinuha niya yung, he took the loaves, and he gave thanks. He, and then what happened? They distributed it. Ipinimigay nila ito. And as they go on providing, giving, giving, lahat ng hinati ng Lord Jesus, ito ay dumami. Even though sa kanilang mga mata, they already have reached the limitation. Sabi nga nila, hindi natin ito kakayanin. At meron mang available, it will not it will not be enough. Sabi ni Lord, hindi kaya. Hindi kaya. But, I want you to see, anong ginawa ng Lord Jesus? He made the people sat down. Paupuin sila. Who? Oh, a picture of rest. Amen? A picture of rest na pinaikita ng Lord Jesus. Ah, come on, sit down. Sit down. Okay? Sit down. And I will feed you. Amen? That's a picture. When you reach the limit, all you have to do is to rest in the power of God. When, kung ikaw ay kung ikaw ay sagad na, kung ikaw ay pagod na, kung ikaw ay nagawa mo ng lahat. And if you are thinking na whatever is in your hands are not enough, okay, is what you need to do. Thank God. And just simply rest. Amen? Simply rest in the power of God. Why? Because when you reach your limitation, God can do something about it. When we start to rest in the power of God, when we start to rest 
in the promises of God, you will see yung, yung kakulangan mo sa sarili mo, ang Diyos naman ang magpupuna. Amen? All you have to do, katulad ng pinagawa ng Lord Jesus, you have to just simply sit down. A picture of rest. You just have to simply say, Lord, I'm resting now in your promises. Hindi ko to kaya. If I'm gonna do it, I already reached my limit. I don't know what to do anymore. Help me. Let me rest. Hayaan mo na lang ako mamahinga rito and you do something. Because I believe in you, you can do the impossible. Amen. Preaching, exceeding the limitations. Second story that I want you to see, it is, it is a story, there's a church ng Corinto. Okay? In 2 Corinthians 8, you will see, I, I, I like the opening of it. Okay? I'm gonna open up my Bible sa 2 Corinthians 8. Napaka importante. And I will let you see Okay. So, yung opening part lang. Now, brothers and sisters, we want to tell you about, I want you to see that, the grace of God which has been evident in the churches of Macedonia. Again, brothers and sisters, we want to tell you about the grace of God, the grace of God which has been evident in the churches. Okay? The first story is about the Lord Jesus. Grace Himself doing wonders. Doon sa limited situation, limited capacity that they can do. Now, here in this church in Macedonia, sabi ng Lord Jesus sa Corinth, sabi ni Paul sa Corinth, Brothers and sisters, we want to tell you about the grace of God. Okay? There is a uh, manifestation already of the grace of God. And I want you to see, in this in this church, ay dumadanas din ng kanilang, uh, sila ay merong severe distress, poverty. Sila ay nahihirapan sa buhay. They were lacking already. Limited resources, hindi nga limited, talagang wala ng resources. But I want you to see, sa time ng kanilang limited resources, sa kahirapan, severe poverty, yet they provided more. They gave more that they can give. Yun ang sabi ng Bible. They provided more. They can give. They so, because of the favor of the Lord was evident, the grace of God was evident in the midst of them, even with their limitations, yung kanilang kakulangan, yung kanilang limit sa kanilang mga sarili, hindi ito ang pumigil sa kanila to, you know, to give more for the cause of the gospel. Even in their lacking sa kanilang kakulangan, even with their limitations, but because of the grace of God that was already evident sa kanila, they gave more than what they could give. Not because, because of the, you know, dahil ang nandun na ang Diyos, gumagalaw na ang Diyos in the midst of them. Yung pabor ng Diyos ay nandun na even though they were limited already. They did more. Sila'y gumawa pa ng mas marami. Sila pa'y nagbigay pa ng mas marami doon sa kanilang kakayanan even with their limitations. The Bible says, sabi dito, they first gave themselves in their gift. Yung kanilang kaligayan. Ay, you know what? Lord, hindi ko na kaya. I am limited already. Na-reach ko na. But, no, you know what? I will just simply rely on you. The, because the Bible says they first gave themselves. in offer nila yung kanilang mga sarili. And then they offered their gift. The grace of God is this. It can work even if we are limited. The grace of God can work even if we are limited. And that's when the power of God shines more. Amen. Doon ito ito lalong 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 sabihin natin nagiging very effective in our limitations, in our weakness, okay? We can rely more on the power of God as our strength. I mean, we are weak, we are we are strong in Christ. Ganun ito, ganit, ganito ito tumatakbo sa ating mga buhay. He is, remember, the grace of God, Jesus is our present help in times of need. He is our joy in the morning. He is our joy in our afflictions. He is our calmness in the storm. He is always for us. Amen? And nothing can come against us. I want you to see that. In our limitation, in our limit, God provides the strength and the provision. So when it comes, ating mga ser- when we are reaching those dreams, whatever it is that you have in your heart today, when you reach the limit and say, Lord, I've done everything. Remember the first story. Start resting and let the power of God manifest in your life today. Start resting in the promises. Start resting in the finished work of our Lord Jesus. Start resting in the power of God to do the impossible for you. Amen? I hope you learned something today. You just have to simply rest. Okay? Simply rest in the power of God. I cannot do it anymore, Lord. I turn to you. I am limited. I am in the point of, you know, I am already in my limit. And now, I will trust in you. Trust in you more. I know you can do better. Amen? So believe in those words. Amen? Whatever, whatever it is in your heart. When you reach the limit, you can exceed 
the limitations when you start to rest in the power of God. Rest in the promises. Rest in the finished work. Amen. I hope you learned something today. So let us pray. Lord, we just want to say thank you for this beautiful day that you've given to us. Beautiful night. And we thank you for all the good things coming on today. We can just, we know, so I, so I yung pagpapaalala, that we can just simply rely on you, Lord. When we cannot do it on our own, we can just simply rely on your words. Lord, we rely on your promises. And when we reach the limit, Panginoon, when things are all done for us, we know we can still exceed limitations when we start to focus on you, when we put our hope, our trust in you. Amen. And we believe that. And we thank you, Lord. Panginoon, aking dinadala ng mga kabataan dito. I don't know if they're, they have already reached their limits, Panginoon. They think na hanggang dito na lang. They think na maybe they are thinking na uh, hindi na nila alam kung ano yung next step nila. Lord, remind them. Holy Spirit, remind them that to trust in you, Panginoon, sa iyong mga promises. That they've already reached their limit, Panginoon, but you can exceed limitations, Panginoon. And that's what we are grateful about. And we give you glory, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, again, exceed limitations when you start to trust in the power of God. Amen. I hope you learned something today. See you again next week, 7.30 p.m. every Saturday. And then every Thursday, yung ating connect group. Amen. So God bless you. Hope to see you Sunday. Meron tayong online. And meron din tayong, uh, meron din tayong um, face-to-face, in-person service. So God bless you and good night.